Hey everybody, today we're going to have a brief introduction to what are called sustainability competencies. These are the skill set, the tools that you need in order to be able to identify, to understand, and to solve sustainability problems. When you look at a sustainability problem, it can be very complex, it can be very difficult to solve. And without a specialized skill set, you may not have an easy time working through that problem and coming up with a solution that actually addresses the sustainability problem that you've encountered. So the first sustainability competency is called future thinking or the anticipatory competency. And this is all about being able to imagine what you want for the future of the community that you're living in or for the country that you're living in. So in this slide, you see two versions of a street where the community members have decided they want to limit traffic flow through their neighborhood. So on the left side, you have the current state of the street with lots of traffic in between two large buildings, but the community has, des has a desired future. They've imagined what the future could be like. They've anticipated what they want that future to look like. That desired future is essential to being able to solve the problem. It's sort of like having a roadmap to where you want to go. The desired future that this community has imagined will help them to get to the place that they want to be. Systems thinking is the next competency. Systems thinking is all about being able to recognize the complexity of the problem that you're dealing with, being able to see all of the factors that are contributing to the causes of that problem that you're trying to address. Without systems thinking, you aren't able to come up with a comprehensive solution, and you're not able to identify little areas called leverage points where you can effectively impact the problem that you're dealing with. In order to solve a sustainability problem, you have to be able to think and imagine and analyze the entire system that the problem is embedded in. Values thinking, or the normative competency, deals with the things that we desire, the things that we want, the norms in our community. Those values and norms are going to be different depending on the community that you're interacting with. So you can see two very different styles of house in these images. On the left side is a community that values order and cleanliness, and their community reflects those values. They're not necessarily bad, but if you came into this community and said, I want everybody to have a community garden in their front yard, that community might not be open to that. On the right side, you see a house that values natural systems, messiness, stuff growing everywhere that community is probably not going to be the type of community that votes in to have strictly manicured lawns throughout their community. Again, that's not bad. It just reflects a different value. In order to solve a sustainability problem, you have to be able to understand the values and norms of the communities that you're working with. Otherwise, you end up imposing a solution that people in the community are not going to accept. Strategic thinking, or action orientation, is another competency. And this is about being able to think about how you get stuff done. One of the most important parts of sustainability science is that it's all about putting into action solutions that make effective change. If you are unable to think strategically about how to get things done, or if your area of interest doesn't include a call to action, then you're not really able to address a sustainability problem. Finally, sustainability uses collaboration or the interpersonal competency in order to get things done. This is about stakeholder engagement. A sustainability scientist embeds himself or herself into the community in which they're working and engages with the stakeholders there to understand their values, their norms, to understand the system that they're working with, and that scientist tries to develop a solution that uses all of the input that they get from their stakeholders to make sure that the solution is custom tailored to the needs of the community. 
by utilizing these important tools known as the sustainability competencies. Sustainability scientists are able to design and implement customized and effective solutions to real-world problems.